And then so, okay. So, so that we'll be able to understand this design structure. So we have this example. An experiment was conducted to determine the effectiveness of four weight reducing programs. So there are four programs. Each program was randomly assigned to any overweight individual of each age bracket and the weight loss in kilograms after 30 days was then recorded. Okay, so just a counting recall, uh, treatment here is the weight reducing program and then the treatment levels, hindi pa na mention, pero it could be uh, level one, two, three, four, or A, B, C, D. And then experimental units, we have 16, okay, individuals. Then response variable is your, is the weight loss, okay. So is blocking needed? Yes. Okay. Why? Because age can have an effect on the weight loss, right? Okay. So you have blocking factor for age brackets. Okay. Now determine whether at least one weight reducing program resulted to a different weight loss mean. So also determine if the blocking is effective. So you have to test two for the treatment, for the program, and for the um, age bracket or age group. Okay. Conduct at uh, conduct experiment at 5% level of spread of significance. So now to illustrate, okay, we go back to this randomization. Paano mag-randomly um, assign no, ng treatment? So these four programs. So, uh, okay, this age brackets are already set. So fixed to, okay? Blocks are fixed. So we have 15, 19, 20, 24, 25 to 29, 30 to 34 years old. And then for this first block, we assign... Uh, we have this, okay. Ano pa, nag-set muna tayo ng numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ganun lang yung arrangement. Ascending order. And then, the next step is to generate random numbers. So, if we generate these random numbers, okay. Take note for block 1, what is the lowest value here? So, it's 0 0.209. So, that has rank 1 or rank 1. And then, the next is 0 0.368 that has rank 2. And so on. So, ganun din. You have to assign ranks again for the next block. Okay, having rank, uh, having this uh, smallest or uh, generated random number, uh, rank one, rank one, and then the rest. Okay, so I hope you understand. You can follow this one. And the next is we now assign the treatment. So take note that the rank one, okay, okay, of this experimental unit will receive, okay, this treatment A. Then two B, and then three C, and then four D. Then the same process in the next block. You can have this one as treatment A, two as treatment B, then three as treatment C, then four as treatment B, and so on. So I hope you follow. Okay. Now. Okay, so given that we have randomly assigned those treatments or programs no, to those individuals, overweight individuals, and then, okay, so you you apply this program and then you wait for uh, 30 days. Okay, then after 30 days, you measure new weight. Niya. So your weight loss, okay, kasi diet program siya, or weight program, weight reducing program. So yung ABCD natin, so dito nilagay ko lang specific. Okay, we have A, intermittent uh, fasting, B, vegan diet, vegan diet, low-carb diet, ultra-low-fat diet for the age. And then we have these results. And then how do we analyze now? Okay, so take note that this um, out responses here, or the weight loss, actually, can be modeled okay, using this. Okay, so recall before in CRD, we don't have this term, the raw, this one, the third term. We don't have this. We only have mu plus tau i plus epsilon ij. Now, for the RCBD, we have this additional term. Okay, if you're just interested now to model the responses, you have this. Now, yij is the weight loss or the observed value. The mu is the overall mean. The tau is the effect of the i treatment. And then the raw j is the effect of the block. And then the uh, epsilon ij is experimental error. Okay, so again, we have to check first the assumptions before we uh, proceed now with the test. 
Okay, so assumptions on this. Uh, last time we have discussed this um, homogeneity of variances, the normality of errors, and then this independence. No, another or additional assumption that we need to consider is uh, we need to actually check is the additivity of these treatment effects. Okay. Okay, so, so this is very important. Okay, you cannot uh, proceed with the CRD or the analysis for the CRD if this. Um, assumption is not satisfied. Okay, so what is additivity of effects? So treatments and environmental effects. So yung environmental effects or yung yung mismatch factor or ito yung blocking factor. So the treatment and the blocks okay do not interact. So dapat walang interaction. Meaning the effects of treatments across blocks. Okay, effects of treatment. So treatment one, sa block one, treatment one sa block two, treatment one sa block three, and so on, are uniform. And the effects of blocks, okay, across treatments are also uniform. So in short, walang interaction doon sa dalawa. Walang specific combination ng treatment and block na that has an effect doon sa result. Okay, dapat uniform. And then we can test this using the two keys test. Okay, so two keys test for non-additivity. Okay, take note, we also have this HO, the treatment and the block effects are additive or do not interact. And then we have this HA, the treatment and the block effects are non-additive. Additive. Then test procedure, two keys test for non-additivity. And then decision rule, okay, we reject HO if the p-value is less than alpha, otherwise we'll do reject HO. So we use the alpha here. But, um, okay, if we are using the software. Okay, so just to show you the result, okay. So using two keys, we have this p-value 0.8. So this is very high. So meaning to say we have satisfied the assumption of additivity. And then you, if we want to picture uh, to somehow at least have an idea of the picture of this non-additivity, you have this graph here. Roughly parallel sila. Okay? So this will give you a hint. Kahit hindi ka pa mag-test. This will give you a hint that we have this uh, additivity assumption satisfied since parallel lang. Halos same behavior, same flow all throughout, no? All across, uh, all throughout the treatment levels, okay? Per block, same lang yung behavior. Okay, so that's one way. Then another is to test again for this. The formal test is to use the two keys. Okay, homogeneity of error variances, you're already familiar with this. So the same HO. Okay, sigma 1 square equal to sigma 2 square and so on. And then the error variances are equal. So that's your HO. HA, at least one pair of error variances are not equal. Then the test procedure the same, Levin's or Bartlett's. And then the decision rule, we reject HO if the p-value is less than alpha. Otherwise, fail to reject the HO. Okay, so this is an example. Okay, we have this Levin's uh, result, test result, the p-value that's greater than alpha. For the treatment and even for the block, 0.88 is still greater than alpha. So, therefore, we have satisfied the assumption of what? The homogeneity of error variances. Okay, the next exam, the next assumption that we have to consider again is the normality. Okay, so you have this HO follows a normal distribution, HA follow, does not follow a normal distribution, and then Wilk Shapiro or Shapiro Wilk, we say bang software, then we use the p value. So, assumptions so of Per group, okay. Okay, so we see that the p-values you can see here, 0 0.8, 0 0.85, 0 0.51, 0 0.36. So all of these are greater than alpha, which is 0 0.05. Therefore, we have satisfied the assumption of normality. Now, the independence of error, that's the last assumption. Uh, satisfied, okay, again, using randomization. Okay, so we have the summary here. So far, lahat naman po ay nasatisfy. So we can proceed with the test. Okay, so the test now is this F. Okay, so take note na aside from the muse that we usually use, okay, we can have this fixed effects, no? Uh, HO for fixed effects and then HO for the random effects. So ganun lang din, tau i and then sigma square lang. Yung notations natin. And then the F, again, we go back to F, we have this ratio. And then decide using F or using the p-value. Okay. Take note also here. Okay. Here we are dealing with a, with a comparison among the treatments, right? In terms of means. 
And then here, we are dealing with the comparison among blocks. So we compare blocks. So we have to test the HO, blocking strategy is not effective. HA, blocking strategy is effective. Okay, so we have this. So pag not effective, no differences in the means among the blocks. Okay, so to summarize, okay, we have this uh, hypothesis for the fixed effects and then random effects. Okay. And then we have this um, test statistic. Ang uh, nagkaiba lang is yung numerator. The numerator under the treatment is the MSTR. So under the blocks, we have MSR. R is actually replicate or block. Okay. And then the decision rule, you can use the F or the P value. So I hope you can follow. So, ganun lang yung pattern. We state the HO, the HA, and then we should know the test, and then we check the assumption, and proceed. Okay? Then decide, then make a conclusion. 